Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to see Trigonometric Fourier Series. Our learning objectives are Introduction about Fourier Series Then Existence of Fourier Series That is Condition for Existence of Fourier Series Types of Fourier Series And Problem in Fourier Series So first let us see what is Fourier Series if you are representing a signal over a certain interval of time in terms of linear combination of orthogonal function, then it is called as Fourier series. So Fourier series is only applicable for periodic signals. If you want to analyze any periodic signal, then we go for Fourier series. So if you want to know what is meant by periodic and aperiodic signal means, the link is given in the description box. You can refer it. Then, Fourier series represents a periodic waveform in the form of sum of infinite number of sine and cosine terms. Next, we are going to see Dirichlet's condition. So, for a Fourier series to exist for a periodic signal means it should satisfy some conditions. That conditions are called as Dirichlet's condition. The function x of t must be a single value function. This is the first condition. Then the second condition is the function x of t has only finite number of maxima and minima. Then the third condition is the function x of t has a finite number of discontinuities. And the last condition is the function x of t is absolutely integrable over one period of time. Next we are going to see the types of Fourier series. There are three types of Fourier series. One is trigonometric or quadrature Fourier series. The second one is polar Fourier series. And the third one is exponential Fourier series. So first we are going to see trigonometric Fourier series. So this is the general equation for trigonometric Fourier series. So x of t equal to a0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t. The limit t extends from t naught to t naught plus capital T. Here capital T is our period. So if you want to calculate the period means t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught. This is the formula for calculating the period. Now here the coefficients a naught, a n and b n can be calculated using these formulas. A0 is equal to 1 by t integral t0 to t0 plus t x of t into dt. A n is equal to 2 by t integral t0 to t0 plus t x of t cos n omega0 t into dt. Then B n is equal to 2 by t integral t0 to t0 plus t x of t sin n omega0 t into dt. So by studying these formulas you can solve the trigonometric Fourier series problems. So before solving the problems, we should have a basic idea about wave symmetry. So if a signal exhibits even symmetry means then directly we can substitute Bn is equal to 0. No need to calculate using the formula. Similarly, if the signal exhibits odd symmetry means then directly we can substitute A0 equal to 0 and An equal to 0 in our general equation. So even symmetry means it is otherwise called as mirror symmetry. So you will be getting the mirror image of the right hand side in the left hand side. So this signal exhibits even symmetry. So if it is an even symmetry signal means then Bn is equal to 0. Then odd symmetry. Odd symmetry means you will be getting the inverted image in the left hand side. So you will be getting the mirror image but it is inverted in the left hand side that is LHS. So if it exhibits odd symmetry means then A0 equal to 0 and An equal to 0. Now let us solve a problem in trigonometric Fourier series. Find the trigonometric Fourier series for the periodic signal x of t shown in the figure. So this is the problem. So from the figure itself we can understand it is a periodic signal. So we can apply Fourier series for this. So first from the figure we should know what is the capital T value that is period. Here we are going to see this black line represents this is the one period or one cycle. So minus 1 to plus 3. So this is our one cycle or one period. So we can represent capital T equal to 4 second because minus 1 to 0 that is 1 second then 0 to 1 1 second then 1 to 3 we are having 2 seconds. So total time period capital T is equal to 4 seconds. So one period is taken as t is equal to minus 1 to 3 that is the limit minus 1 to 
three. So we can choose any period. Now for this example, I have chosen the period as from minus one to three, right? So here we have to assume the value for t naught and t naught plus t. So the lower limit value is assigned to t naught. So t naught is equal to minus one and t naught plus t equal to the upper limit that is three. Now capital T that is period is equal to two pi by omega naught. We know this formula. So from this we can calculate what is omega naught. Omega naught is equal to pi by two. Also we can uh, see it is. Even symmetric signal, so we can directly substitute B n is equal to zero. That means no need to calculate the value for B n. We can substitute it as zero. Next, we should know what is the value of x of t. So this is your x of t signal. So we have to write the value for x of t from the graph. So x of t equal to one for the limit minus one to one. So for a minus one to one, the amplitude value is equal to one. So that is the first value. Then x of t equal to minus one for the limit one to three. So it is minus one for the limit one to three. So by this we have to write these are the basic terms we have to write first itself. So using this only we can do the calculation. Next we are going to find what is a naught and a n. A naught is equal to one by t integral t naught to t naught plus t x of t into d t. We know the value for t t naught t naught plus t. Now we have to substitute everything in a naught. So a naught is equal to one by four integral minus one to three x of t into d t. Now we are going to divide this integration into two because we are having two limits. Minus one to one its value is equal to one and one to three its value is equal to minus one. So we have to substitute this, then integrate it and apply the limit. You will be getting the value as a naught is equal to zero. Next, we are going to find the value for a n. A n is equal to two by t integral t naught to t naught plus t x of t cos n omega naught t into d t. So here also you have to substitute the limit. Two by four t is equal to four. So two by four integral limit value minus one to three x of t into Omega naught. We have calculated it as pi by two. So pi by two t into d t. Now you have to split this integration and apply the limit. So we know integral of cos t into d t is equal to sine t. If you are having cos n pi by two t means we can write it as sine n pi by two t divided by n pi by two. Then after that you have to apply the limit. So you'll be getting the answer as a n is equal to one by n pi. Three sine n pi by two minus sine three n pi by two. Right now we have to write our general trigonometric Fourier series. So in that we are having the term a naught, a n, and b n. But here a naught value and b n value is equal to zero. So directly we can write only a n coefficient value. That is summation n is equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi by two into t. Now apply the limit and substitute the value of a n here. So you'll be getting x of t is equal to 4 by pi into cos pi by 2 t minus 1 by 3 into cos 3 pi by 2 t plus 1 by 5 into cos 5 pi by 2 t and etc. It goes on. So this is the answer for trigonometric Fourier series of this problem. So in the next video we can solve some more problems if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you